Hi, I'm John. I am uh, once again going to uh, work on growing some mushrooms at home. And by mushrooms, I'm talking about morel mushrooms, those uh, tasty little creatures you can only get once a year. And uh, trying to grow some because I want more in my yard. Uh, I hate going out in the woods and spending hours and really finding nothing. So I, in the last couple of years, I've been uh, having a little success growing some from my own yard. Not quite as many as I'd like, but I have been growing some. So today we're going to uh, make a slurry and we're going to start out with filtered water in the, uh, well, you can use a, vi a blender. I have a Vitamix, so we're going to start with filtered water in the blender. And the next thing I have is all kinds of, actually if you can see these, these are basically stems and the pieces of the mushrooms that uh, I'm not going to eat, you know, the dirty stuff, the, the stuff you cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I use filtered water by the way, um, make sure I get off. There's billions of spores in here and I don't want to miss three of them, so I'm going to rinse this bag out. Um, won't do that this second, but rinse it out and get all those spores in here. But uh, got mushrooms, pieces of mushrooms in here. Like I said, there's billions of spores in here. So basically another thing we're going to use for the slurry is uh, salt. We just want about a tablespoon of salt, so not too much. Put that in there. Now the next thing we're going to use is caro syrup. Use about a half a cup. You know, it really depends on how much water and mushrooms you got in there. So that's probably pretty close to a half a cup. We're seeing something a little bit for those guys to feed on. The last thing we're going to use is just a little bit of flour. Say, so let's use about a half a cup of that too. So half a cup of flour and. Uh, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do now, like I said, I'm gonna wash this bag. Filtered water, don't use that chlorine water from, uh, if you got city water, don't use chlorine, filter it somehow. You can buy a cheap filter at Home Depot, Menards, whatever. I have a filter on my sink, so it filters the chlorine out, but I'm gonna rinse this out with filtered water because you see those guys, there's billions. I don't wanna throw them away. So I'm gonna blend this up and we're going to make our slurry and I'll explain the rest after that. So, be back in a couple. Okay, I'm back. So, as you can see here, this kind of looks like just um, maybe water and flour or some, maybe even skim milk because pretty much water anyways. So, that's what we got here. It's a mushroom slurry. So, we are, I don't know if I'm going to dilute this much. But what you can do is take this, like I said, there's billions of spores in here. So normally what I would take is a five gallon bucket or several five gallon buckets. If you, you know, however many you have, divide this up amongst them and fill them up the rest of the way with filtered water and then spread them around. Throw some wood chips in there. You know, that way the spores, you know, they'll bind to the wood chips and soak in and, you know, gives them a little bit of something to grow on or you can use sawdust or you can just pour it right in. I'm going to pour it in my landscape and I have wood chips in there already so uh, pouring that in and we'll see what happens next year or so. It's looking good so far like I said I'm not uh, I'm not getting quite as many as I want but I've been getting some so every little bit helps and some is better than none so looking forward to getting more mushrooms and like I said, I'm not, I am not going to dilute this. I'm just going to pour it in my yard the way it is, uh, spread it around a little bit because I've already poured a lot in my yard. So uh, I'm not going to dilute it any farther. I'll use it uh, concentrated. So, all right, I'll be posting more videos. Please uh, go ahead and like my video. Subscribe to my channel if you like this information and uh, give me a thumbs up. So uh, appreciate you tuning in and good luck making your slurry and growing mushrooms in your own yard.